feeding the hoggets and the sheep that I thought weren't in lamb, only to hear a small bleat this morning. And I said, oh dear, I missed one. And she's up here, up over this hill. There we go. Hey, sweetie, you have one lamb. Or you have two lambs, you clever girl. Inca, come back. You clever girl. Two healthy twins that are standing up. I'm gonna give you this. Come here. There you go. Java, leave it. Java, come here. I'm gonna give her that and then I'll have to bring the lambs and her up to the garden paddock. So, I am human. To air is human. So, I made a mistake. Java, Java, leave it alone. Hey, kitty. How are you, time? You beautiful kitty. I know. We've got a nice, healthy set of twins here. Yeah. Born out in the field. One of the best places to be born. I only birth them in the shed in nighttime hours because it's easier. I have so many nooks and crannies on the farm or in each field that it'd be very hard to keep an eye on the yews. Oh, she's having a lovely feed there. Two healthy looking lambs. Well done you. And I missed you, my fault. They're kind of muddy. Aren't they kitty? Slightly mucky, but healthy, standing upright and nursing by the looks of it. What a glorious view to be born into. Look at that. In the great oak field paddock pasture. What kitty? What? Yeah. How are you? You beautiful kitty. Oh. Oh. There we go. If I stand upright, ew, cold paws on my neck. <laughs> Time, your usual trick. As soon as I bend down low enough, you're up on my shoulders, aren't you? Such a kitty. We have to keep an eye on these two. Java, Inca, Inca, leave them alone. Good girl. <laughs> Such a kitty. Gotta pick up your babies. That's one baby. <coughs> and two babies. <coughs> yeah. There you go. Come on, Missy. <laughs> Come on, Missy. I have
Come on, Java. We have to work our right way through the flock. through the gate. Come on, go through the gate with Mama. Okay. Can you move, baby? I know. I'm gonna carry you further. I'm just gonna leave you there for the moment because I gotta go pick up my bucket, which is all the way over there. Mama is right there. She's gonna go straight for the horse pars uh, cow parsley. Look at that. Full of vitamins and minerals. Hey, sweetie. Mama's that way. Yeah. I'll be back in a sec to pick you up again. The reason I'm picking the bucket up now is one, I've moved the ewe a great distance from where she gave birth. And the second reason is I might forget it. And with the storm coming Friday, Saturday, this could blow away somewhere. So I'll move them directly up to the garden paddock and then bring the iodine and ear tags to them. She's moving, <laughs> finding the delicious food. Good girl. No, there's nothing in it. Nothing in it, it's empty. They all think there's something in this bucket. Sorry ladies, nothing in it. Nothing in it. No, it's empty. It's empty. It's empty. It's empty. Now, hey sweets, can you, oh God, being itched on. Hey babes. You guys are staying on that side of the gate. Okay, see you guys. I'll have to remember to count one less. You, when I'm doing the counts. Happy lambs. So, that's a female. Oh, they're both females. Two little yo lambs. Mama is too interested in the ivy. She keeps talking to the babies. Okay, I'm going to pick you guys up again to bring you further, closer to the garden paddock. She's loving eating the cow parsley, the ivy. All these different things with, look at that, right into the ivy. Delicious with the um, minerals and vitamins that are in ivy. And the lambs are getting their bit of security. 
having a suckle. Okay. I'm gonna pick you guys up. Oh, you're following. Go follow your mama. Come on. Come on. Follow your mama. I'm holding this one up here. No, don't eat my, no. Oh, come here. Your babies are here. There you go. Yeah. Whoopsie daisy. Oh dear. Where she was in the field, she was far from the water. So she's really thirsty. Hey, sweetie. There's your mama. Java. Hey, baby. I'm going to bring you to your mama, who's now safe with the other guys. There you go. <laughs> Literally only just born this morning. How's your Bubba doing? Come on, big boy. How are you? I want to see you stand up again. Good boy. Uh, nice stretch. So this is the ram lamb who was having difficulty standing. He's still a bit wobbly because he's so long and leggy. But he's uh, doing okay. There we go, going for a suckle. And this mama is fine. Okay, I'll go and get tags to put in your ears. So we know you're two little girly pearlies. I better just check to make sure. Are you a girly pearly? Huh? Are you a girly pearly? Yep, you're one girly pearly. And you're definitely another girly pearly. There you go. Okay. Java, leave them.
Java, leave them alone. No, don't follow me. Hey, sweetie. Go back in there. It's dry in there. There you go. At least those are in the dry. I'll feed the other two that are in the rain. They're not going to come over here any two time too fast to get the food. These are the babies found out in the field. She wasn't supposed to have lambs and she did. Hey you. I got some food for you, Kiki. There you go. Lovely and warm ear. Lovely and warm mouth. So doing good. Leave it. Leave it. Come on, dog. Lambs are very adaptable. It's raining. And that lamb is using her mother as an umbrella. <laughs> Clever lamb. No flies on her. And the sibling's worked its way around and done the exact same thing. Lovely and cozy. Come on, girls! We've had a baby in the nettles. Let me pull you out of the nettles. You clever girl. Ear feather. <laughs> now let's move your baby out of the nettles. There you go. Yeah. Clever girl. Come on, girls. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And I'm missing two. I wonder if somebody else has had lamb somewhere else. Look, it's up in nursing. I better go walk the field. Okay, girls. You ready? You have to let me pass. You have to not come rushing in. There you go. Okay, everybody's here, except for Ear Feather, who I'm going to put up in the garden paddock because she has a single. Should be okay. Okay. I kept Ear Feather in with her baby. 
because <laughs> he was born in the wet and the cold. And he's doing very well. He's just having a snooze. <laughs> yeah. Being born is hard work. <laughs> oh, Mama, you've woken him up. Anyway, he was standing and suckling already. And then those of you have been asking about little Missy. She's right here. She's asleep. Oh, I've just woken her. There she is. Little premature girl. And you. Okay. And it's raining. And it's going to be a storm tonight. I know. You'll go up in the garden tomorrow. The garden is really sheltered. Oop. Here comes the rain again. Ooh. Ooh. Pouring rain. Time for me to go inside. Sheep are, er, sheep are fed everywhere, horses are fed everywhere, and nobody's giving birth. <laughs>